good, but I'm disappointed just like everybody else. What? Uh, oh my gosh. gosh. You're like, let me just get right into it. Seriously. Like, thank you for the blue balls, Bravo. So wait a minute. I have to ask you, Jamie, because you're friends with everyone, right? So you've been yeah. around. You've obviously been hanging out with Sheena and stuff. Like you've heard rumblings. Was everyone just really not privy to this big reveal? We knew this already. First of all, I, I knew they hooked up in Mexico. This was known. Like, she was missing for most of the wedding. Like, we could not find her. I had this book that I gave Sheena for, you know, from her all her bridesmaids, right? And I had everybody write a letter in the book before I gave it to her. I got all of the bridesmaids to write in there, and I could not find Raquel. I didn't end up giving her this book until the Labor Day party, the infamous Labor Day party in Newport Beach, because that is how long it took me to get Raquel to write her letter in there. She was missing the entire wedding. I mean, so, not the actual wedding, but like during the events, like she was always disappearing. So it was so obvious, like in retrospect, it's like, yeah, we know where, where you were during the wedding. And then the new information on top of it, her kicking out her friend Jenny from her room the day that they get there, obviously she had plans for her room. Right. Which is so wild to me, too, because even if this is like one, the funny thing is, is like if they would have told you if they would have come out and said, guys, the big reveal has something to do with Mexico. I feel like you would have been like, all right, guys, the first three tacos are free over here at Sugar Taco. I will just everybody come to fucking come to the come to my restaurant and I will tell you exactly what the not so big, big reveal is. And at the end of the day, no shit, like nobody expected for them to go to Mexico and hook up one, like whether it was one time or five times, like at the point that you already hooked up, we were anticipating that you guys were hooking up as much as possible anyways. That didn't feel like a big reveal. Yeah. And it's so bizarre that Tom was kind of like hinging his whole story on like, oh, it only happened once. And then that was like what they had to agree to. And this whole timeline bullshit, it's like, nobody cares. Like you did it once or you did it 10 times in August. Like, there's seriously no difference. And the fact that he thought that that would make it so much better is insane. Well, even when he's sitting there lying on the reunion floor and, you know, Andy was like, did you guys hook up the night of the hot tub situation? And he was like, no, we didn't have sex. And Tom Schwartz was like, I don't know. And Raquel's kind of like looking down like, oh, shit, he's lying about it. I already said this in my one on one. I'm like, dude, at this point, you tried to obviously take control and make sure that you were telling her exactly what to say. And that got away from you. You couldn't control it because she could not keep up with the lies, which makes it to where now you are being caught in the lies, which is a little awkward. By the way, what were your thoughts when Raquel was saying, you know, I don't know. I thought like, I love Tom Sandoval. I'm in love with Tom Sandoval and I love Ariana. So maybe I thought in my mind, we could have all been a thing. Honestly, that was a bigger reveal to me than anything is the fact that in her mind, she thought a thruple would actually be feasible. And that is that was probably the biggest reveal of all. I've created a new word after seeing that. She's a throopy. Because a throopy. Not, right? <laughs> because she wanted the two of them, honestly. I think in some really fucked up world, Jamie, I feel like what happened here was... She saw their lives and she wanted that exact life with Tom that Ariana has built with him. Like, but then I think what she forgot was Ariana still makes a shit ton of money. She still brings in a lot. She's still been on the show for a long time. So this life they created together. It's not like Tom gave Ariana this life, you know? Right. I think that she kind of felt like in her mind in some weird fucked up way that Ariana was going to be phased out of the house and she was going to be phased right into it. And this was all going to be normal. Yeah. I mean, again, we knew that they hooked up in the house when Ariana was there, when Ariana was asleep, like that wasn't a reveal either, but just how sick is it that like to imagine Raquel in that house and being like, one day this will all be mine. You know, I, I can imagine her thinking that. It's weird. Yeah. And then to sit there and be like, you know, I'm so disgusted with my actions and like the way, like we hear you, we hear everything you're saying, but then your words don't match up with it. And it's not even up into the point that you're saying is saying this at the reunion right after the reunion, 
is when, or right before, is when everything started panning out for Ariana, and then she booked this Lifetime movie that she had to fly to Canada for, and that's when Raquel was photographed leaving the house with all of these bags. Later, they ended up sponsoring Ariana, but at the end of the day, you feel so bad, and you're so embarrassed, and you're so mortified, but then you're doing it right after again, so your words are not matching your actions. You look like an asshole. Yeah, I mean, even in in that scene where they followed the two of them into the dressing room and they're laughing afterwards and making jokes and making light of everything. To me, that doesn't look like two people who have any remorse whatsoever. And it's not like everyone is just, you know, I mean, yes, everyone is very disappointed and not loving the two of them now, but I really feel like there would be some room for forgiveness somewhere and maybe not from the people directly involved, but maybe from the viewers. And feeling maybe sorry for Raquel even. And then just seeing that scene in the dressing room, it's almost like it rips all that away. It's like, wait a minute, are you guys, I don't even think you're sorry for this. Well, what were your thoughts too? Because I keep on seeing where a lot of people are talking about this t-shirt comment. And Ariana and Tom were going back and forth and they were arguing about this. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. One time, two times, five times. At the end of the day, Ariana said, well, I know one person you were sleeping with while you were hooking up with Raquel, and that was me. And Tom's like, oh, yeah, it was so hot. You kept your shirt on the whole time. And obviously, that pissed off a lot of people. I wanted to ask you two questions, but the first one mainly is, and I know that there's a very obvious answer to this, but I saw on Twitter people questioning it. Why is this so offensive? I think it's so offensive because for women, especially who've been in abusive or toxic relationships, or even just with someone like Tom, it really hits home because they've, they've been told those things as well. You know, they've, they've heard similar things from someone who may be cheating on them or whatever, and it hurts. And it's just kind of triggering for a lot of people to see that because it's like, they know how that feels. Yeah, no, I can see that. And then for him to say it right there, it's, you know what's so funny is you could see at the last part of the reunion where when Lisa's talking to Tom, and maybe this is only in the Peacock, like, unfiltered version, but you see where Lisa's trying to coach Tom, and she's like, you've come in defensive. You've come in trying to go up against everyone. But the one thing that you haven't come in doing was to just be vulnerable and be like, you know what? I fucked up with everybody, and I'm hoping – we can get to a better place. And he did eventually come out right after and he started crying and he was like, Ariana, I'll always be rooting you on from like the sidelines. But he, in the beginning, he really did come on super defensive. And even when Raquel came out, it was almost as if Tom was not in his chair because he was so busy focusing on Raquel, making sure she was going to say the right answer the entire time. Yeah, I mean, when you have all of these things that you have to keep straight, all of these lies, and it's hinging on Raquel keeping it straight, obviously, he, you know, he's in his head with all of that. But in addition to, you know, coming out and being defensive, again, that's just something that I think a lot of women can recognize, you know, when they're the ones being cheated on, a lot of times, that's what you get in return, you don't get the remorse, you don't get the closure, you get the blaming, and you get this anger, because they need to, the cheater needs to justify in their head why they did it. And yeah. he's, I hope at one point in his life, he can let all of that go and really take in what he did and not blame Ariana in the slightest bit. Well, what did you also think, by the way? Oh, let me bring up this um, super chat really quick. Um, Ariana, hi, thank you. Ariana was abused in her previous relationship. He knew about this, and she even talked about how she was disgusted with her body. So shame on Tom. 